I got a three package mail day today. We'll start with the first item which was a Panini Redemption, believe it or not. Put this in three months ago and they actually redeemed it. It's a Dominique Franks X from Gridiron Gear, number to 299. I still have two outstanding redemptions with them and who the hell knows if I'll ever see them or not. So there's that. Uh, next, I am going to make an assumption on this card. It came from an eBay seller, but I believe this is part of a uh, trade that got all jacked up that I had with Dawkins, 311, and he made a deal with RBI Crew, and uh, well, I guess this is the card. I'm guessing because there was no note, there was nothing. This card just came in from an eBay seller, so maybe they asked to ship it directly to me. Uh, Dave Casper, inscribed 87, no number. And finally, <clears throat> this come in. So before I even open it, I'm a dollar 18 in the hole. So, uh, I sliced it open, but I have not checked any of the contents on the inside. There's a note. And what looks like three packs. So let's see what I bought for $1.18. Hi, the Steeler fan here. I hope you enjoy these cards. I really love your videos and keep up the good work. Thanks for all the great videos and keep collecting. Sincerely, the Steeler fan. Here is the autograph you like. Cooper. All right. No order these. I guess I'll just pick one and go with it. A pile of cards in no holders. Falcons base. Jarius Norwood autograph on card there, star signature. So thanks for the package, Cooper. Um, just a bit of advice the next time. I would suggest you don't ship anything in a plain white envelope. If you're going to send cards, either put them in a snap case or put them in penny sleeves and in a top loader. Please make sure that you have your postage figured out ahead of time so the person on the other end doesn't end up paying for it. But I do appreciate you taking the time to write the note, sending the card. That's it for today. I'm back in touch with you guys some other time soon.